Okay, so for the rest of this project, I'm going to be using this uh, Arduino Uno. And since it has both plus 5 and 3 plus 3.3 volts uh, available as outputs from its regulators, I'm not actually going to need the breadboard power supply. So I've done away with it and strapped the Arduino to the board. I'm also going to be using this little Keys IR receiver. One thing of interesting to note about it is the it uses three pins, okay, but those pins are not connected straight back to these. Don't wire the back of this board uh, like you were wiring this receiver, or, or it's not going to work. It might even damage the uh, receiver. So uh, let's go ahead and get this hooked up, and I'll show you how it actually needs to be connected. Okay, we're keeping everything simple. Uh, what I've got is the hour module. And uh, looking at the top of the board, uh, the rightmost side, we have a ground wire to ground. The next wire is at plus 5 volts, which is strapped back to the Arduino's 5 volt supply. And then the third pin is the output pin, and I have it strapped to the Arduino pin 12. Okay. And at this point, what I want to do before I bring anything else in is load the code for this uh, module and test the remote to make sure that that's working. The Arduino connected to the IR module, black is ground, red 5 volts, and white is the output, which is going to pin 12 the Arduino. Then I also have my little uh, WTV 020 SD mini card and here I have pin 1 of this is this green wire that's connected to pin 2 of the Arduino pin 2 and 3 has no connection 4 and 5 are connected to the speaker 6 has no connection and 7 is this white wire going to pin 3 of the Arduino and then 8, of course, is my ground connection. Uh, looking at the top of the chip, top row, let's move this jumper strip out of the way, we have nothing on pin 8, but pin 9, I'm sorry, pin 9, right on pin 10, we have this orange wire, which is strapped to pin 4 of the Arduino. 16 is to 5 volts, and 15 is strapped across to pin 5 of the Arduino. And I'll go ahead and put a schematic up also to, to show you exactly how this is wired. And uh, basically that's going to allow me to have this R module inputting to the Arduino and then the Arduino controlling this sound module. And we're going to see what that looks like in just a second. Okay, what I'm going to do now is open up the Arduino uh, the IDE development system and I'm going to open up the examples for the IR remote. And we'll open the IR receive demo. Now this is was installed when I installed the IR remote library. Uh, just if you need that library, just uh, Google for Arduino Hour Remote, and you might want to put Ken's name in there also. Uh, so anyway, I've got this software. I'm going to make one change here. I'm going to move this to pin 12. The reason why pin 11 is a PWM pin, and PWM pins are useful for other things. And since this will work fine on a digital pin, I'm going to put it on a digital pin. Uh, and basically it's a very simple thing. You have the receive library, it does the decode results, and then it uh, does a serial begin and it does an IR enable end, starts the receiver, 
it does uh, receive the code results and then it prints the results in hex and then it resumes which means it's going to start it over again so it's basically just doing a very fast loop around and around reading uh, the data that's coming in on pin 12 from our remote using this library so uh, I'm going to go ahead and now that I made these changes upload it to my Arduino notice down here we have our progress bar and there's the size of the sketch it's done also uh, you when you're using this development tool you want to make sure that you have the proper board I'm using Arduino Uno at the moment so that's correct and you also want to make sure that you have a serial port enabled when I do so that's correct then I'm going to launch the uh, COM port because that's basically what it's going to do is reprint this information to the COM port. So I have a keys IR remote here and I'm going to start pressing the pins 1 through 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Try one again. One, one. So there we go. We finally got a code out of one. Uh, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. So that's the results that I've got with the uh, Keys R remote, which is a really cheap remote from eBay. It's kind of compact, but it's it's a cheap one. I also have. Uh, Panasonic remote that I use with my Blu-ray player. It's actually part of my Blu-ray player. I'm going to try the same results with it. Pressing keys 1 through 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. And what I notice here is the Panasonic Blu-ray remote seems a lot more consistent than the Keys remote. Uh, don't know uh, what the problem is and I don't have a lot of the Keys remotes so uh, I, I've determined basically that I don't think I want to use that. I want to use my Panasonic remote or some other more expensive remote to hopefully get more consistent results. So basically that's that's all the uh, the program does is test the remote. Now if I close this down I've actually been working on a sketch Let me get this out of the way and bring this sketch up. And there's uh, more stuff in here. Um, not going to cover much of it except here's my R remote software and here's the library for the WTV020 dash SD dash mini sound module and here's the receive code and the uh, setup for the sound module uh, I've got some other code in here for volume level setting the max volume level um, there's some other code here we're not going to worry about it at the moment uh, but basically, uh, what I've got here, let's get down to this section, is uh, the code for the Panasonic remote and using our receiver also works with the sound module. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this.
open my serial monitor, press pin 1, and I get a 1. Now what I also want to do, just one second here, is I actually want to go ahead and connect my speakers. All right, I'm going to press the one again. Two. Now I'm going to press a three. A four. A five. A six. and I don't have anything on 7. But I do have some general sounds I put on the play button. So I'll press play. And this is actually playing track 10. If I hit the search the left, Hit it again. And that's all the different sound files I've got. I've got the whole things on there, but that's all I wanted to do. If I hit the play again, it goes back to the intro theme. And so there you have it. Uh, our remote controlling a sound module uh, that I'm going to be incorporating in my Defiant model. Uh, I've already got some of the code written for the strobes uh, and, and the like, but I've not finished the code completely. When I get a little bit closer, I'll be putting another video on uh, showing the lighting effects that I'm also going to be running simultaneously with this remote. Okay, that's all I've got for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.